What's up ladies and gentlemen, quick video today. It is an installation of a Cario Smart ceiling fan. All right, this job, I don't need the trailer and I'm gonna show you what we do real quick when we're just doing a ceiling fan or something like that. All right, pop open the uh, tailgate. All I'm gonna need is my ladder, some tools, and just in case some screws and bolts and things like that and you're gonna need your you know all your electrical hand tools and a drill just in case you need that stuff but that's it put it in the truck or the trail not the trailer put it in the truck the van or even inside of your car whatever you're starting off with that's all you're gonna need so let's head to the job all right we're here we got a ceiling that's about I don't know 15 feet so I brought in the ladder okay right here is the ceiling fan all right it's a cario smart ceiling fan um if you're looking let me see if we have an item number it's good with alexa i believe it comes with a bunch of stuff so we're going to take these things out one at a time it does come with its own screwdriver which is pretty cool it comes with the, the bracket that's going to go on the ceiling that's what's going to hold the weight of the fan. It's got the cover for it. It's nice because all these parts come together on the way they're supposed to be put together. So I put that over there. We have little wrenches, screws. This is the extension pole. And then in here is going to be the blades. All right, so we're going to take all this stuff apart and see how it goes together. First thing you want to do is you want to get this mounting bracket up on the ceiling because this is where it's going to rest into. Make sure it's nice and solid. Make sure you have the proper electrical box to hold the ceiling fan, which they had a very heavy chandelier, so we're good. And we're going to go up and mount this. It's just a few screws to get it up into the ceiling. Then we'll come down and start to assemble the fan. And once you get it up, make sure you put the right screws into these brackets. Make it nice and durable and strong. Take your time. Don't lose the screws. I actually dropped one. I found it under the couch. So, yeah, take your time when you're putting this bracket on. Okay, now that we have all the parts laid out, we have our blades. The screws for the blades. Little washers that go in between. We got the uh, stem here that, control, that connects to the power. And then it goes into this stem here, and we'll show you how you do that. It also has a safety cable, which you're going to screw one side of the cable into the base here, and the other side is going to go through the shaft and connect up there, just in case it ever came loose. There's a safety cable in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a metal cable, like a little strand. All right, so let's take everything apart, and let's start putting it together. All right, so you grab a blade. You're going to grab one of these pieces here. You're going to hold it, you're going to hold it, put it in these holes on the other side like this. Okay, you can see how they fit in. They fit in like this. Sorry about this, I'm trying to do this with my hand, holding the camera. So you're going to fit them in. You're going to put it underneath the blade and go straight. You're going to put it, you're going to hold it underneath and you're going to put the screws through the top of the uh, brackets. What I want to mention is this is... Uh, you're able to purchase this Cario fan at the Home Depot. The other thing you have to keep an eye on is when you're going for your screws, if you look here, there's some crap inside the thread there where the screwdriver won't fit. So, they give you an extra bag with an extra screw here. So let's hope the other screws are in good shape, like this one. All right, I'm just going to put it in into the bracket here. Grab your screwdriver that they give you, and it's as easy as just tightening down. Two hand tight, you don't want to go crazy. All right, that's enough, and that's it. We're going to put all the blades on one at a time. One thing I want to say is make sure you have enough room. Set up a space before you start putting it together so you have enough room to literally, when you're putting the blades on, 
you can spin it and do one at a time. You know what I mean? You don't want to be jammed up and damage these blades because they're not the most durable. Now we're going to put the stem on and I'll show you how we do that. Obviously, you're going to take the longer of the two and you're going to plug the plug into it and you're going to, once it's plugged in, you're going to literally, this cable, this cable, you take the screw off there, you see the screw right there, and it's got that little slot for the cable, and you put the screw back in, and then we put the shaft and we click it in place after it's plugged together. Before we stick the stem into the unit, you can either have this length or this one. They don't go together. So if you're going to use the, t the uh, longer one, you got to remove this top part, which is a few screws and the longer, the longer piece that holds it through. So we're going to remove this little shaft and we're going to use the longer one. They do not go together. It's either one or the other. Okay, once I changed it, okay, make sure you have the plug on the right end that'll plug into the ceiling piece and the one that'll plug into that motor. Okay, once you get that finished, you're going to take this guy here and you're going to slide him down like that because that's what's going to be mounted to the ceiling and you can see it's got a little bit of a mark from the factory which is I don't like that but it is there there's nothing you can do about that it looks like a perfect Hole. It could have been when those two mount pieces were together. Then what you're going to need is there's a little. Where is it? It's another little piece that's going to cover the connections. It's right here. This guy here, and this guy's going to be put down this way. He's putting like this. So when this thing gets mounted to the motor. This will cover the screws and bolts. It'll cover that. All right, so this is where that safety cable is bracketed to. It goes up into the shaft. And then you're going to make sure that this wire is flush. And then you're going to take your, your shaft and you're going to push it down into these two screw holes. So these two screw holes line up. We're going to put our bolts through. And then this piece is going to slide down and cover it. That's what you want. Safety on one side, the plug on the other, and you want to line up, you want to line up these two holes here, like that. These are the bolts in question, and check it out, they got mini cotter pins. So take the pins off, take the screws and the washers off and the lock washer, send them through, reassemble the way this is, and put the cotter pin back. After you put the bolts on and the cotter pins, then you can push this wire back in a little bit. Now you're going to take this black piece and you're going to push it down and cover it. This one here. Now that the fan is complete, it's put together, you're going to carry this up and you're going to put this ball inside that bracket and it's going to hang up there. Then you'll be able to do your wiring. We're going to have to hook up this transformer. That side's going to go to your power. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, we're going to hook the uh, white to the white, black to the black, and then this part, this little plug, we're going to plug into here. And again, this other part will it'll screw on to the uh, bracket up there. All right, so you bring it up in here. you got to carry it, but it literally goes right into this pocket right here. So now it's hanging. You do your wiring. We're going to put our transformer through that slot through that slot. This goes into the transformer and we wire it to the, and then the safety cable gets screwed in to the bracket. Gets screwed into a bracket up here, the safety cable. And then when we're finished, we just push this up, screw it into place. So we're just gonna hook the white to the white, the black to the black with the transformer, which is right which is right here. It's gonna slide into that pocket up there. So we're gonna to have to take our time to do that. We're gonna wire tie 
We're going to wire nut these first, stick the electric back up into the hole, back up into that hole to give us space to slide this thing through. All right, that's it. That's how you hook up one of these uh, ceiling fans. I just slid that cover right over after I wired that little uh, transformer. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that sub uh, subscribe and hit the like button and share this video. And if it helped you out, put a little comment below. I appreciate it. And what do we got to do now? Sonny? Sonny? Now that's not Sonny. Everybody knows who Sonny is. But that's a cute little Nico. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Sonny? You down there? <laughs> Yo, Sonny. Sonny? Down there? No? Down here? Sonny?